Tonight, the sex scandal rocking the U.S. Senate. A legislative aide to Maryland Senator Ben Cardin out of a job after a video first published by conservative outlet The Daily Caller alleged to show him having sex in a Senate hearing room used for Supreme Court confirmations and high-profile hearings. I was angry, uh, disappointed. Uh, it's a breach of trust. Senator Cardin confirming to NBC News that staffer Aidan Maisie Sarovsky is no longer a Senate employee, but refusing to discuss details of the case or say if he was fired. Capitol Police are now investigating the incident for possible criminal activity. The only issue that could potentially be at play would involve the location. If a court would decide this hearing room to be a public place, well, there are also laws there that prevent this type of behavior in a public forum. Maisie Sarovsky responding to the allegations in a statement on his LinkedIn account, which has since been deleted, saying, I have been attacked for who I love to pursue a political agenda. While some of my actions in the past have shown poor judgment, I love my job and would never disrespect my workplace. He did not respond to a request for additional comment. There does not appear to be any precedent happening federally in the Senate or Congress or the Capitol. These would only be misdemeanors. So that means jail time maximum of a few months, but unlikely if he doesn't have a criminal past and likely just a fine. The video, reportedly published in a private online group for gay men, has not been independently verified by NBC News. But Republicans now seizing on the incident. Georgia Congressman Mike Collins posting this image comparing the video to the desecration of the U.S. Capitol on January 6th, 2021. Sahil Kapoor joins us now from Capitol Hill. So Sahil, we know you were at that press gaggle earlier where Senator Ben Cardin made the comments we just heard in your piece. What else did he say about this incident? That's right, Ellison. The senator called it a tragic situation. He said he has not spoken to the now former staffer. He said he's unaware of any disciplinary priors uh, he may have had. He also declined to confirm or discuss the details of this incident, said only that it's a personal issue, that it's under investigation, and that his main concern is how other staffers, uh, Senate staffers, feel about it. Now, this is a bizarre way to end what has been a bizarre year in Congress, one of the most uh, legislatively unproductive productive years we've seen in modern times, but it's been packed with all these oddball dramas in the House and the Senate from two lengthy speaker fights uh, to overthrowing a Speaker of the House mid-session for the first time uh, in history. Uh, there has been a, you know, multiple fights over preventing government shutdowns and preventing debt default. A senator once literally tried to fight a committee uh, witness at a committee hearing, and then there was the expulsion recently of serial fabricator George Santos, and now, to cap it all off, this bizarre story, Allison. An eventful year to say the least. Sahil Kapoor, thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.